We get asked so many times how we produce bullies like this right here. That's Mo Money, people. ABKC Extreme Champion, Atomic Dog Mascot, Mo Money, the founder of Moneyline. And well, it's not that, it's not rocket science. <clears throat> All it is is what we do is we take time to plan out our breedings. There's Sweetie coming into the background, and she's key to this video, so focus on that. It's a big, extreme female right there. Uh, what we do here is we take only the best males to only the best females. We don't ever take an average female to one of the best males. We don't ever breed an average breeding or an average dog, period. An average dog goes to a pet home and is fixed. You know, if you take an average, uh, 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 an average male or an average female to an exceptional male or an exceptional female, and you have this one great dog going to this one average dog, well, you're going to get one dog that's exceptional, and then you're going to get the rest of the litter, you know, that's just average, if that. And you might not even get that one dog that's exceptional. So that's just, you know, just trying to, you know, pay a big stud fee on something, or, you know, you might go to Mo Money or Dax or King Doggy or Miyagi and pay a big stud fee, take it to an average female, think you're going to make some quick money, and then you get a bunch of average-looking puppies, maybe one dog that looks great, if, you know, if you're lucky. And, uh, well, what we do here is we go back at least three generations in the pedigree, make sure all those dogs look phenomenal. They all produce in the way that we like our dogs to look. And uh, if so, then we'll do the breeding. That is a lot of a female right there, and she's not even pregnant. And uh, that is a production at Carolina Bully Farms. That's what smart breeding will produce you. Here's another one. At fifth, or 16 weeks, in the middle of a lanky stage, BC. Here's Lisa, another production. Miss Bouncy, that's a female right there, people. An ABKC champion female. The thing we do here is we always make sure we plan our breedings ahead of time. No breedings are rushed or made or planned out just for the money. You know, we don't do that. We breed for the dogs and for our customers. And if you breed right and breed smart, then you're going to have breedings that produce like this. And I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just using our dogs as an example. Uh, there's a lot of kennels out there that do these rush breedings and that have dogs that show the results of rush breedings. They just look... Uh, average at best. The few kennels out there that do it right, you can tell. And I don't even have to name them because you know who they are. And uh, I mean, it's just the results speak for themselves. You always want to look at the dogs, look at what they're producing, look at what their grandparents are producing, their grandparents, their great-grandparents, the grandparents of their great-grandparents, and make sure that all the dogs in the pedigree produce dogs like you're wanting to produce. And don't ever follow a trend. Make sure that you're breeding the kind of dog that you want to produce. You know, if you're trying to take a dog that looks like sweet money and make money off of it because you know that's what's popular right now, uh, but you really are into XL bullies, you know, you're going to end up at one point or another because you like the XL bullies taking her to some big XL dog and that's just not, that's going to produce dogs that no one likes because the people that like XLs are going to think it's too short and the people that like uh, dogs like Sweet Money here are going to think it's too tall, and that's just not going to work. I see so many people try and do that. you got to follow what you like. And right there is what we at Carolina Bully Farms find to be the ideal bully. And there, and every bully in this building, and Lily and Mingy Money are here too. Mingy's over there, and the Annex chilling. Uh, it's a cool night, and she loves to go over there, and then Lily's in there with her puppies. And uh, she goes just with her puppies. There's Karma. And then uh, there's BC. Hey, BC. So this is Carolina Bully Farms coming to you with a late night video. It's three, about 3.20 in the morning. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like, favorite, and subscribe to all of our videos. Thanks, and God bless.